What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I've not yet seen the new Resident Evil film, Welcome to Raccoon City, but I have watched a couple of other people's reviews of the film, and pretty much as everyone was expecting, it seems like us Resident Evil fans are yet again left with another dud of a movie. And I can't exactly say I'm surprised, having seen every other previous live action Resident Evil film, and it's even made by the same companies too, Sony Pictures and Constantin Film. A channel I watched by the name of ScorePN made a really good review of it. I'll probably put a link to that at the end of the video for you to check out if you want. Although I have to say, these aren't my own opinions as I haven't seen it yet myself. The majority of films I just wait for the Blu-ray to come out or wait for it to become available to rent on my Fire TV stick. But I was actually briefly considering going to see this film in the cinema if the consensus among fans was that it actually turned out somewhat decent or even just okay because I was genuinely curious. But yeah, now I'm not even sure if I want to spend any money to see it after hearing about how bad of a representation of the games it supposedly is. And it wasn't even playing at my closest cinema either, so I'd have to drive like 45 minutes to the next one and then it's pretty expensive to get in, and then something to eat and drink on top of that, and I'd have to use a lot of petrol to drive there and back as well, just to see a film I already know is probably going to be crap as well. But the whole thing actually got me thinking, and I started to wonder, seeing as Hollywood are seemingly incapable of making a halfway decent big screen adaptation of the original classic. Resident Evil games, maybe we as fans are looking in the wrong place, maybe we've been barking up the wrong tree. I do think that the first Paul Anderson film is actually somewhat passable, and maybe some parts of the second film here and there are okay, but I do actually really enjoy the three CGI films and the Netflix series, which basically was just the fourth CGI movie, only cut up into four parts and marketed as a series. They do have a lot of crazy over the top action with that kind of Resident Evil 4, 5 and 6 flavour, but they pull it off really well and are very entertaining. They also take part in the same universe as the games as well, and since they're CGI, the characters can be exactly like from the games, with the same character models and voice actors. I remember in the first CGI film, the one set in the airport, there was a brief flashback for just a few seconds of Leon and Claire in Raccoon City, and it looked really cool. So I thought instead of live action, maybe what they could do instead is make maybe a trilogy of CGI films, but set in the Spencer Mansion and Raccoon City, retelling the events of Resident Evil's 1 to 3, or maybe ones of Resident Evil 0 and Code Veronica X as well. I think if they shifted the focus from the action and crazy stunts of the current CGI movies and instead focused on making them more tense, scary, atmospheric and mysterious, they could do a really good job and it'd be a lot closer to the source material than any live action film ever could be. Like I said earlier, they could make all the characters 100% game accurate, and they wouldn't be limited with set design, costumes or special effects like a low budget live action film like Welcome to Raccoon City is. They could easily do a one to one recreation of iconic locations like the mansion, Arclay Forest, Raccoon City, the RPD, the Nest, Rockfort Island and so on. It doesn't even have to be an exact one-to-one -one retelling either, as they could maybe mix up a couple of small things here and there just to keep it interesting, and so everyone already familiar with the games will still have some surprises to look forward to. Kinda like they've done in other retellings like the two Chronicles games and the Resident Evil 2 remake, but not straying too off course like they did with the Resident Evil 3 remake, just enough to keep it fresh, but not changing too much as to piss off existing fans. So what do you think of my idea of making CGI films for the classic games? Do you think it's a good idea, or do you still hold out hope of someday getting a good live action Resident Evil movie? Do you like the CGI movies or do you not like them? Have you seen Welcome to Raccoon City? And if so, what did you think of it? To be honest, I'm actually kind of surprised the new film was even about the mansion and Raccoon City and the stars and zombies and all that at all. I'd have thought that maybe by now, 
they would have just glossed over the classic games like Capcom seemed to be doing and make the future films based on RE7 and 8 instead. I guess looking at the timeline, they probably started talking about making Welcome to Raccoon City a couple of years ago, so they were probably hoping to coast off of the success and acclaim of the RE2 remake from 2019. Thanks for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed it, if so don't forget to click the like button and leave a comment as well as that will really help out the channel and make it grow. At the time of making this video I'm approaching 500 subscribers which means that I'll soon have access to the community tab which means I'll be able to share photos and run voting polls which will open up a new level of interaction between me and my subscribers meaning you'll be able to vote on what future content you'd like to see and stuff like that which would be really cool. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.